Hi, in this video we're going to show you a Windows customization tool for Windows 10, if you're still on Windows 10. It's called Hidden Windows 10 Features. So this has been out for a while, but uh, you might not have seen it, so we figured we would do a little video for it. So they have an installable version and then a portable standalone version that you don't have to install. And then they also have a 32-bit and 64-bit version. So I have the 64-bit portable version that I just downloaded. Uh, it's just a zip file, then you extract it and you run the executable. Say yes to the UAC prompt. You have a little message there saying it's freeware and you can donate if you like it. All right, so you have several categories here. This PC, taskbar, context menu, system security, privacy, and keyboard. All right, so for this PC, we'll just go through a couple items here, such as if you want to add recycle bin to this PC. So right now, if we go to this PC, here's what we have. Just the uh, folders and devices and drives. And if you pick this item here, you could preview it and it shows you what it will do. It will add the recycle bin down here to your devices and drives. Now let's go ahead and apply that just for fun. Refresh. Now we have recycle bin there. And if we change our mind, uncheck it, apply. Refresh it again here. And now it's gone. So the same thing, you know, applies for all these items too. If you want to add these options to the this PC option and if you want to hide some drives you could choose that and then if you want to change how the drives letters are shown so the default here is to show the letter after the disk name there but if you want to have it shown before there's your preview like that and then you could also hide the drive letters I don't know why you'd want to do that but that's an option too okay so let's move over to taskbar Turn off the thumbnail live preview. So that'll turn off the preview that pops up when you hover over it down there. If you want to disable the system tray, shows it like that. So you don't have the little up arrow and the icons there. Show seconds in the clock, open last active window, increase the transparency level, like so. Then you have some thumbnail delay time and preview times. All right, context menu, if you want to add a copy to folder, so let's say we right click on this, here's our options. If we do copy to folder, let's apply. Now we have copy to folder, and then we could pick a folder. And same to move to folder, open with notepad, take ownership, and remove pin to quick access. All right, then we have some system options here. Disable the arrow shake. If you want to add the God mode to the desktop, uh, get rid of the shortcut name. You know, all kinds of the stuff, disable Cortana, disable the lock screen, disable the let's finish setting up your device screen. I change your owner information and organization name, add registry editor to the control panel. So that's what that will look like. All right, then we have security here, disable auto run, enable secure control alt delete. So if you want to have users have to press control alt delete to log in, you can turn that on, uh, disable the script host. I'll wipe the page file when you shut down and enable write protection for USB devices. All right, then we have a couple privacy options here. Disable compatibility telemetry and disable Bing search in the start menu. So that might be a nice one to try there. And then for keyboard, we just have one option, disable the caps lock key. Not sure why you'd want to do that. And then this is just some information about it. So those are all the choices you have here. So you can see it does quite a bit. If you want an easy way to tweak your Windows 10 computer, you could definitely come try this out. And like I said, you could probably just use the uh, portable version if you don't want to install it. Or if you do want to install it, so you have a start menu icon for it, you could do that as well. All right, so I will put a link in the description for the hidden Windows 10 features app, and then you could try it out for yourself. I've actually tried this on Windows 11. It runs but there's no apply button, so you can't apply anything that you change. So I was hoping I might be able to do some Windows 11 tweaking with it, but apparently it's just for Windows 10. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.